Hi everyone, I am my golf so and I made a mini golf game in 6 hours. Why? Because I hate myself apparently. I don't know why I keep making these videos. A really important part of golf is being able to hit the ball. Otherwise it would not be golf. Now, my brain is the size of a corn kernel. I corn so, if you will, and so I didn't have much idea where to start. I tried searching answers on YouTube and I found this great tutorial by Muddy Wolf, and even though it wasn't exactly what I was looking for, I was able to make a start on a prototype, and just look at that ball go. I am the ball master. Wait. It can also bonk off of other surfaces, which is pretty neat, and I would later use this mechanic to create interesting scenarios for levels. Ball hitting, yes. Ball bonking, yes. Ball look good, no. The game at the moment was looking uglier than my face when I wake up on a Monday morning, or when I wake up on any day, or some other self-deprecative joke that will hopefully get me more subscribers. It was time to art, and we all know how much I love creating artwork. I don't like making artwork, but I made this cute little tile set in Acebrite, most of which I didn't even end up using, and then putting that back into Unity, I could begin using it for the first level. To make this process easier, I worked with a rule tile. Basically, this checked different positions of tiles relative to each other, and you can see here that when I draw in different shapes, the tiles update according to their state. Pretty cool stuff, but not as cool as grass. Um, now we have grass. I don't know what else to say about that. It's just grass. M moving on. We all know that with any good game, it has to use... Unitis particle system. Unitis particle system. Unitis... So I was able to create these effects pretty easily and just slap them together with my code and boom, we have some particles. It makes the game feel that bit more interactive and juicy without getting up all up in the without without all getting up in the player's grill. Then I went swimming because it was 40 degrees and I do not like summer. Similar to how a lot of these videos go, I was now three hours down and had three hours left. This makes me feel that I should begin working on my time management skills, but self-improvement is just not my style. Right now, you can whack the ball around as much as you like, but there's no real purpose to it. So I had the really genius idea of making a hole that the ball could go into. All you have to do is aim for the hole and shoot your shot. Wait. Also, if the ball is just going too fast, it won't go in, so you have to be delicate in the way that you handle the ball. The golf ball, that is. Um, comedic genius right here. I spent some time adding a zooming functionality with the scroll wheel of the mouse so you can zoom in and out to see more of the level. To add a bit more diversity in the levels as well I made this spinning block which just spins but you didn't realize that. Also we all know that pink is the universal color of bounciness and these were pretty fun to play around with. Level making time. I was able to make 9 levels or you know 9 holes in total, which wasn't a whole lot but it was okay for the 2 hours that I had left when I started. I did my best at switching it up and keeping each level fresh, but hey, you can be the judge of that if you want to play the game for yourself. Half an hour left, no music or audio, S stress. So you know how we talked about my brain being the size of a corn kernel? Yeah, it's a pretty small corn kernel because I forgot to record any of my music production for this. And even better, I didn't save the FL Studio file, so it's lost forever, like my soul. But I was able to put together a cute little track that I actually liked quite a lot, added a small hit sound effect with BFXR, and now the game was finally finished. I actually had a lot of fun making this one, and this is a game that I would definitely consider working on more. Who knows, it might even be my next Steam project after Minima. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and a massive thank you to my supporters over on Patreon. Especially DerpyDino35, DiamondDev, and Gunst. I hope you all have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next video.